I was saying, this show already has a following and a call. Uh, you were ran off Broadway for a while, uh, there was an out of town for a while, and it's storming onto Broadway with previews starting in February, opening in March. Um, can you tell people a little bit about the journey to Broadway? Uh, Gerard, tell us a little bit about your experiences. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, so I've been with the show since the readings, which was about a little over three years ago. Uh, we developed it here in New York, then we moved it to Two River Theater in New Jersey. Uh, we ran for about a month, and we recorded a cast album. Um, it secretly lived in the world for like a year and a half before it like started blowing up. Um, and then eventually, the streams were like 100 million streams or something That's on Spotify crazy. of our album or of certain songs. And we started noticing a spike in our social media, our individual social media followings, um, which has been crazy and overwhelming. Yeah. And uh, yeah, from there, it's sort of like, it, we, we, I sort of like to say that the, the kids found this musical that died and they resurrected it and they memed it to Broadway. Yeah. I mean, straight up. There were so many memes and, and fan art and, and things that were sent to us and it, they, they embraced the show so much that like we had to seize the opportunity and see if we can take this thing even further. So yep. we did Off-Broadway, just did that, just finished that run, what was that, a couple months ago? September 30th, last month, a month ago, yeah, geez. Um, so we finished that and now we go to Broadway soon. So that's really exciting. It's very exciting. Yeah. The power of social media is yeah, man. real. Huge. It is real. And the cast album, which is out. And you should listen to it if you don't already. So now, for anyone who doesn't, well, I mean, so a lot of people haven't had the opportunity to see this. Tickets are on sale now. Uh, I think this is going to be, I mean, I think this is going to be a smash hit, so go out and get your tickets now before it's too late. And it's one of those things where you have to sort of wait a year to see it. Yeah. Um, tickets are on sale now. Um, but people want to know uh, really what this show is about. So can you give us a little blurb about what it is? Yeah. In, in summation, uh, it's about um, a kid named Jeremy here who is um, he's sort of a wallflower. He's not really uh, uh, nerdy enough to be a super nerd and not really popular. He just sort of exists. And um, he finds out about this little pill you can take called a squip. It's a supercomputer that implants in your brain and tells you how to be more chill or how to be cool or whatever it is that you desire. Um, it's a science fiction, musical, comedy, dramedy, I guess. Uh, and it sort of takes a, it, it starts with this typical sort of high school route and then it goes into this science fiction musical theater world that hasn't ever been done before. Yeah, I mean, it sounds so interesting. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. It's really great. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep Tali on stage because she's actually gonna be doing the first song. So I'll send you two guys off stage for a moment and we'll bring you back in a second.